Hello everyone this is Ravens from Digi Integrity welcome to Tech News episode 153 Crafton has entered that Battlegrounds Mobile India could come to iOS soon and Instagram post said that all Battlegrounds Mobile India players would get rewards regardless of the platform the official Battlegrounds Mobile India iOS launch date is yet to be revealed According to a report by Craft and the parent company of Battlegrounds Mobile India the game surpassed around 46 million downloads once it reaches 50 million downloads every player in the game will be getting an amazing rewards from the BGMI OneWeb got a license from the Department of Telecommunication which means OneWeb is allowed to offer its internet services in the country OneWeb is expected to start its service by May 2022 and can continue for next 20 years the license has been given for 20 years and is likely to introduce its service in India by May 2022 the OneWeb is owned by the Bharati Global and UK government it's a satellite communication company and plans to give tough competition to Project Cooper and Starlink PVR Cinemas have come to the interesting offer called the Jab offer. PVR will offer free tickets to every individual that is fully vaccinated. This initiative has been taken to encourage more people to get vaccinated. Aditya Birla Group Chairman Kumar Mangalam Birla has resigned as non-executive chairman and director of Cash Trapped Vodafone Idea. The development cast further gloom at the time when the telco is desperately trying to raise funds and seek government aid to continue operations. No fast and free internet facility inside trains. Indian Railways has dropped its plan to provide free Wi-Fi based internet inside trains as it was not cost effective. Union Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishnav in a written reply to a question in the Lok Sabha said that the pilot project internet services was provided in the Indian Railways Howrah Rajdhani Express train through satellite communication technology. The technology of satellite communication was capital intensive with recurring cost in the form of bandwidth charges and thus facility was not cost effective Amazon has released a new update for its virtual assistant artificial intelligence technology Amazon Alexa. This will help us to provide valuable information about COVID-19 vaccination center and test centers. The makers of the Amazon Alexa has now collaborated with the Covin portal, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare website and Map My India to gather all the information about the questions on COVID-19. The Realme Book laptop might be a month away from its release, but that has not stopped the company from making a big claims and dropping big hints. The newest one in the stream might be the most exciting one yet, support for the MagDart wireless charging. The Realme Book has been teased to launch alongside with the Realme GT. The Realme GT flagship is scheduled to launch on August 18th in India alongside the GT Master Edition. The Realme Book price in India is set to start at around 40,000 Indian rupees. Online food delivery platform Swiggy has partnered with Reliance BP Mobility Limited to build an electric vehicle ecosystem. The Bengaluru-based company said on August 5th a move in keeping with ambitious plan to switch to electric vehicles and bring down the vehicle cost. The food delivery startup Swiggy has been partnered with Hero Electro, an e-cycle manufacturer and a fast dispatch logistics, a last mile delivery player in the UK to enable end-to-end -end delivery of orders through cargo e-cycles. The electric vehicle trials are already in Bangalore, New Delhi and Hyderabad the company has been mentioned in a statement Samsung Galaxy F62 price in India has been slashed by rupees 6000 the 6GB RAM 128GB variant now costs us around 17999 Indian rupees and the one with the 8GB RAM costs us around 19999 Indian rupees this offer is only valid on Flipkart and Samsung's official website Samsung Galaxy A52s render show that design is similar to the Galaxy A52 5G. This handset will ship with a punch hole cut out quad cameras and in display fingerprint sensor. Samsung Galaxy A52s is expected to launch in Europe soon. MI Mix 4 has planned to launch next week especially on Tuesday August 10th. If you have been hoping the MI Mix 4 will get a global release, it is appear that it will not be happening in the coming week. The product PR of Xiaomi Global has mentioned that Xiaomi has no plans to release the MI Mix 4 outside China. This info was revealed on Twitter as a response to a tweet asked by an another user. This news is a mix of surprise and disappointment for a lot of fans who have been anticipating the arrival of the MI Mix 4. 
Qualcomm is likely prepping a Snapdragon 898 announcement later in the year to take on Samsung Exynos 2200. And we can expect improvements in the clock speed. Apparently, Qualcomm is sticking with the same tri-cluster CPU design that it has been maintained for many years. According to the leaks, the clock speed of the Super Core running at 3.09 GHz, indicating that a prototype was likely being tested with a new chipset. It is an update from him on Weibo. These clock speeds have not changed. In Gonda, two children aged below 12 and 14 have spent nearly rupees 1 lakh from their parents' account for online transaction on Garena Free Fire game. These two kids have spent nearly rupees 7,000 and rupees 90,000 from their parents' bank account online to purchase diamond and clothing for Free Fire. Noise has launched a new smartwatch alongside a pair of truly wireless earbuds in India, dubbed as Noise Colorfit Pro 3 Assist and Buds VS103. The Colorfit Pro 3 Assist sports a regular dial and it is offered in five color options. It comes with features like SPO2 monitoring, 14 sports mode, heart rate monitoring, water resistance, and more. The Noise Buds VS103 sports a stem style design and offers a total playtime of 18 hours. Noise Colorfit Pro 3 Assist is priced at rupees five. Five thousand nine ninety nine and is currently available at an introductory price of rupees three thousand nine ninety nine via the company's official website. The Noise Buds VS One Hundred Three are priced at rupees two thousand nine ninety nine and are currently available at an introductory price of rupees thousand four ninety nine via Amazon. These are offered in two color options, black and white. Poco smartphone brand has reached a new milestone of total shipments of Poco smartphones of around twenty million units till now. And the Realme GT Master Edition price in Europe is set to start from 349 euros, that is around 30,633 Indian rupees for the 6 GB RAM and a 128 GB storage model. And the Realme GT Master Edition Europe launch date is yet to be revealed. Xiaomi Mi TV 4C 32 inch has been launched in India. This TV comes with a patch wall UI, Mi Quick Wake, Chromecast, Google Assistant, and dual 10 watt speakers. Mi TV 4C 32 inch has an introductory price in India of rupees 15,999. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe. And follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.